Listen, chat. It's time we, Norts and myself, we must... See, Norts is waving. We must now move on to the trashy Game Boy games. There's plenty. There's um, actual licensed official Game Boy games. Um, you'll see them in a moment. I'll show you. No, those were homebrew. Those were good. Those were good. They were good. So. So now we can um we can do the next segment of Game Boy games. There we go. Is the Austin Powers game on the list? I believe I've done the Austin Powers games already. Yeah. So let's see. Let's take a look. I don't even know who made this pack. I'm sorry. Once again, TJ the Wizard 2002. Thank you for making this pack. There's a note. So now, again, to celebrate the Game Boy's um, 20th anniversary, Game Boy Advance. We'll play some good, good stuff. It'll be all good stuff, I promise. Like Alienators on the Game Boy Advance. So this will be a mix of Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy. Just like last time. No, it's going to be good! Nortz is smiling. Yeah, I put some duct, uh, some electrical tape. Now he's... <laughs> <laughs> when 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 the light increases it looks like he's smiling alienators evolution continues the quality is already very high um this is based on a cartoon but DARPA. DARPA chief. SAC. Colonel. Uh, a cartoon based on a movie. Oh, I have to rescue the DARPA chief. Snake, you are the diaper chief. Uh, uh. So this is the best of the best of what the GBA had to offer. All those years ago. <laughs> oh boy, it's one of these. It's, uh, yeah, it's like a worse Super Star Wars. Oh, you can shoot a uh, bomb. Yeah, it's just nothing particularly remarkable. It's, it's... Honestly, not worse than some of the homebrew I played earlier. There was some pretty stanky homebrew. It, it's not terrible. It's just really bland. I can't tell if those are glitches. I don't know if those are glitches. Or is it a feature? The camera whipping all over the place is not helping. No, no, I, I really... I, yeah, the, any camera movements like this are usually a death knell, but somehow it's still kind of tolerable. 
just really bland. I guess if you're a huge fan of Johnny Advance uh, Alien Man, you'll and you're five, you might like this. But who knows how far this game goes with its entertainment value. I just don't know. Does it keep going? Just keeps going. You need to complete the mission before you leave. Mate, next is Ants for the Game Boy Color. Sorry about the um, off-center game capture. But, you know, different resolution. Ants! 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 Ant -man. That's a good face. That's a good face. Does anyone actually remember this movie? I don't know if this was as popular a movie as A Bug's Life, but this was on HBO all the time, and Stallone played like a jacked ant. It wasn't that bad. I liked it at, at the time. It's also kind of in the early days of 3D animated movies, so it, it was a little, you know, it was like a treat to see a movie like that. But I don't remember anything. People are saying it was a fucked up movie. I don't remember. The problem with this game is it's, it's just kind of, again, one of these, um, you know, let's walk around. Perfectly competent. Oh, you can shoot. I just noticed there's a shoot button. You could shoot pickaxes. <laughs> I really feel like I'm an ant. It makes you feel like you're an ant. Yeah. Yes, yep. I was able to mute the sneeze. I have, um, I, my allergies are starting again. It's fun. I, I've, um, I've taken Zyrtec. And it mostly worked. It was worse earlier. My whole shit was fucked up, as they say. And, um, my nose was incredibly stuffy. And now it's... it's okay. Yeah, Zerk Tech. Don't rely on Zyrtec too much. I took it for years and my asshole exploded. Oh. And if I stop, I itched like crazy. I'll try not to, yeah. If there's a better allergy medicine that doesn't have um, a side effect. Like somewhere between itching and asshole exploding, I don't, I don't want... I don't want any of that. Claritin D? Okay. Flonase? Um, thanks. I, I have to take a look, because I I'm gonna be, you know, if my allergies are particularly bad one day and I'm gonna stream, I'd like to not take something that's gonna make me tired. Um, anything that's just kinda just helpful with, like, stuffy nose. That's really most of what happens. A couple sneezes. Water. Well, you know, funny you should say that, because water in this Ants video game actually kills your ant. I've seen ants swim. They can they can get out of a little bit of water. I used to, you know, watch them go through their rivers and stuff. You know, growing up, I would look at all the cracks in the ground, and each one was like a map. Each one was a new adventure for a bug. 
and I would know all the little spots where the bugs would be, and I'd watch them, and I'd follow them. I was like Carl Pilkington. And, um, it was fun. And then I would, you know, enjoy catching them for my tree frogs when I had those. Anyway, uh, I just... But I don't want my asshole to explode from allergies. That's what I'm trying to say. Did you pour hot water on ants? I poured non-hot water on ants, and they usually were fine. They would go for a little ride, and then they'd be fine at the end of it. Ants are very resilient. They'd make, like, a little daisy chain. Did you burn them? No. I didn't go through a burn ants phase. I didn't have a magnifying glass, to be fair. I mean, I caught them so that a tree frog could digest them, and then the, f the tree frog... Like, I had several tree frogs in a tank, right? This game is ass, by the way. Good face. Um, so the tree frogs would eat the ants. And then... When... This is disgusting, but when they would poop, it was just like a ball of ants. Anyway, Beethoven's second... for the Game Boy. So we're going back to the ass. Nineteen ninety four. Licensed by Nintendo. That's a bad face. I feel like I've heard about this game, like, on magazines, or in magazines, like, worst games lists. The animation of Beethoven... The, yeah, so, chat, when we were younger... I say we... Oh, when I was younger... And, and Norts, too. I mean, you know, well, all of us were. Um, there was a series of movies, there's two movies, it was called Beethoven, and it was a dog, and it, it went on adventures. That's it. That's it. There's ten Beethoven movies? There's like five of them. What? You just changed my whole life. Doesn't it have David Duchovny? I don't- I don't remember. Wow, I'm stuck in the first minute. What the fuck? You have to hold up to make Beethoven headbutt. And that increases your mayhem meter. Oh man, I feel bad for anyone that got this this as a gift. Like, I got some kind of stank Game Boy games as a gift, but this is... Ugh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Awful. What, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to... One of the buttons is a dedicated wash yourself off button. That seems useful. Maybe I need that to attack. Um, good. This entire game is just a series of the dog using its head as a hammer. Why would they do that? Why would they do that to this dog? Yeah, chat, this is a baffling video game. Uh... They're just throwing sandbags, like, around. Like, they're not really even working. They're just throwing shit.
you still have to use your head. Well, I mean, you know, for puzzles, but also use the dog's head as a hammer, as Jeff said. Vinny, this is what actual construction sites are like. Oh, cool. Is that a bird? Is that- is that a bird's? I tried. I gave it as- as much of a fair chance as I could. Cannon fodder is next. Game Boy Color game. <laughs> War is hell, but it never changes. No, 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 no. They really try to include a song with lyrics on the Game Boy Color? Well, that, that intro was so intense. Mission First Blood. Phase 1 of 1, a very good day to you. It's like a strategy game? It's a good thing they- they spent all of the fucking resources they had on voices. That's the whole game, I think. Mission 2, Search. This is a remake of a classic Amiga game. Okay. Classic. Again, though, you know, for its time, it probably had something kind of going for it. But, uh, boy. Yeah. Using the D-pad as a mouse isn't a whole lot of fun. I mean, it's playable. Casper? Some games shouldn't be as ported. Some games maybe just keep them on their original hardware, or wait a couple years for it to become more available. Like, you know, like, uh, I don't know. Something with a touchscreen? Super Nintendo Mouse? It's a haunted castle. It's a haunted mansion. Starring Eric Idle. Okay, so there's Casper. And I'm sure a character from the movie. You played a Casper game on the PlayStation during the 2020 Hope Charity Stream. <laughs> what, what do I have? Do I have, like, Plasm? I have Casper Plasm. Oh yeah, a ghost killing Casper the ghost, sure. Protect the Ooze. I think it's a series of four minigames. Which means it does none right. 
Oh, it's, um... This fucking game. Defender? Or, uh... What is it? Oh, God. It's just a worse version of it. Missile Command, with no missiles. You have to be, per like, perfectly precise. These ghosts are kind of sperm-like? Actually, that... Oh, God. The, the one on the right? Did you... Hmm. I like the bottom ghosts. Oh, oh, I see. That's how you do it. You kill them when you break the floor with Casper's flashlight. I think it's a flashlight. I don't know. Book return? Wait, does Casper turn into plates? That was almost another video game song that I'm aware of. Chat is already losing their shit. It was a fluke, chat. It was a fluke. It was just the sound effect interacting with the music at the exact right time. Okay, that's close. That's- alright, it's pretty close. It's pretty close. This game sucks shit. <laughs> it's amazing how three notes can set people off. That's all it takes. That face. That actually looks... Like, it kind of looks like... What was happening? Whoa. Oh, is this a Rube Goldberg machine? Start. Stato. Oh yeah, I am a master of physical comedy. Rune Goldberg.
I don't feel like trying to apply it. But that's what it would look like. Ah, yes, it's the gel. It must apply in all the sensitive regions. It's the only way to prevent alien parasites from taking over your body and b making them your host. You, their host, of course. Is Nortz wounded? No, it's just tape. I don't really get this. <laughs> Wait, like, imagine a child trying to figure this out. They probably could. <laughs> that animation was great. All right. Dinosaurus for Game Boy Color. Someone said I had this game as a kid. I had no idea how to play. It's another game I believe I remember from a variety of magazines' worst games of all time lists. That was almost Dark Side of the Moon chat. EA. Good dinosaur music. <laughs> Oof. Take that back. Pokemon? What, what? Look at the tail. Why is it? Oh, that's, that's the enemy tail. Wow. Wow. So, yeah, it's a s platformer side-scroller where you explore as dinosaur, eat rodent, and then poke battle. It's not that bad. I mean, maybe it gets worse? It's kind of bland. The music is actually very grating to me. But yeah, the dinosaur sprite is cool. Careful though, you die, you're addicted. It could be worse. Um, Global Gladiators, January 18th, 1994 prototype. Mick and Mac as the Global Gladiators. Fucking McDonald's logo? McDong? Is this McBagbomb? The logo? What am I shooting? I don't know what I'm shooting. It's an official McDonald's game. Where's Ronald? Where's Grimace? Where's Bruto? They're all missing. Moment of silence for Bruto. Okay. 
there was a Super Nintendo and NES game a version of this as well. I don't remember being able to rent Game Boy games. I don't think you could from Blockbuster. You could? Mine certainly didn't have Game Boy. You had to ask? It was a box behind the counter? Yeah, no, mine... ...never had Game Boy. As far as I'm aware, and I remember, like, I would rent games like a fiend. And yet... I don't remember a single Game Boy game being rented. They were too easy to lose or be stolen. That's kind of what I suspected. It was like when the kid in first grade stole my Kirby. Kirby's Dreamland. Why am I still playing this? Yeah, it's it's fine. It's McDonald's. It's it's a prototype. I got it back. Max Steel Covert Missions. <laughs> action Hero. Generic Action Hero Game Boy Color Man. Here we go. I don't have the mental capacity to keep playing through these games, truthfully. I might have to, like... Like, I don't even want to have anything to do with the story. I'm not reading. I'm fighting Iron Man. A Solid Snake fighting Iron Man. Here we go. Punch. <laughs> oh, it's a watch. Oh boy. I can already see why this game was on the list. It's trying to be, like, really cool with animations, but the gameplay suffers pretty badly. And there's, like, piss dripping from the ceiling. Did Nortz just move? No. No, chat. Definitely not, because if Nortz moved, it would look something like this. Why is Nortz smiling? Just a little electrical tape. Oh, a, a piece of a piece of his foam just came off. I don't know if you can see it. He's shedding, you know. Oh. Chad, I had toys. Someone said uh, I had toys of this cartoon in the early eighty, uh, early nineties. Thing is, what is this? Max Steel? I've never heard of this. How about this? Just for, um... Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back to the Game Boy Advance games because it is the GBA's 20th anniversary. And there's, like, more games on this list, but we'll do three more games, all GBA. Ozzy and Drix. Why is this familiar? Is this... Bartleby's Lumpkin? No, what was the name of the, um... Osmosis Jones! Yeah, yeah. Pretty good movie, I like that movie. My name is Strepfinger. 
Dickety Lipid. General Malaise. Nicotine. PB, our level-headed friend. And these models, these 3D models are, are something else. <laughs> What's this music? This was the TV adaptation. Oh. Which one's Ozzy? The blue one. Oh, like Osmosis. I love the background. Look at look at look, the background's amazing. It's just stitched together and then it loops very poorly. <laughs> Notice anything odd? I, I notice I haven't played the game yet. Well, it's it's attempting to be a 3D side scroller, so that's a little different for GBA. Two point five D. Yes. How did how do you jump high? It's not a double jump. Something's weird. It's like a pogo stick jump. But it doesn't always work. Do you You know, no, you don't hold it. You have to just mash the button. What is this pill's side effect? Oh. Plaque? In ejectile dysfunction? Which is, you know, if you're in a helicopter, don't worry about it. Well, there are many side effects that you can fix by just applying the gel. Yeah, you can jump high just by mashing the button, which is a really weird mechanic. You don't press it twice, you don't press it three times, you press it like four times very quickly. Very disorienting camera. Um, it's trying its best, but it's it's also just making me a little bit nauseous. Not like real nauseous, like like joke nauseous, but still not not good. Weird angle too, yeah. The angle is strange. I mean, it it's uh it's a licensed game. That's why next game is going to be so much better, right? It's a uh, shark tail. Round the hood. Neighborhood delivery. Crazy Joe Oscar, how are you? On top of the reef yet? I'm working on it, Crazy Joe. Believe me, I'm going to make it big. You can do underwater kung fu. Yeah. Nope. No bills. No bills. Bills. It's bills. It's not... It's not balls. I've never seen this film. And people will be like, Vinny, how did you miss a shark tail? 
I just missed it. I've heard it was good. I've had, I've just, there's a lot of movies from Pixar and DreamWorks and Creamworks and all the other ones that make the animations that I've never seen. I know that this directly influenced Rapture from Bioshock. This is less bad on the scale of offensive, terrible uh, games of this kind, but it's, you know. One more GBA game. Norts, have you ever played the harmonica? Go for it. No? Never mind. All right, um, Smuggler's Run. This is a pretty good game. I had this, um, I, I, I had rented it. PS2. Oh, it's loud. That didn't take long. Game over already. It really is like, um, it's kind of, it's kind of, um, the, the green looks li like good chunks. I can't believe they, they let this pass. Like, they let this slide. It sounds like gargling pancake batter, says a chat member. <laughs> You can beep! Oh, thank God! Quick, baby! Next checkpoint! <laughs> Why am I be- <laughs> Why baby? Baby, please! Is this Christopher Walken? It seems also very- <laughs> it seems so pointless. Everything here just seems like a big pointless mess. Like nothing's happening. There, there's nothing to do. Uh, just flags. Canada flag. No good, baby. No good at all. Stop saying that. Thank God we don't have to hear the sound effects anymore. So can I even go back? Oh, oh, when you when you game over, the game just freezes. Well, anyway, chat. Um, thank you for watching this segment. I think it's I'm good. If I do more Game Boy stuff, I'll carry over the stuff I didn't do. But um, I hope. You enjoyed my alien and I appreciate you watching. I know this is a weird thing. I don't really like face cam very much, but it's kind of, it's not so bad when it's crusty. You know what I mean? It's kind of fun when it's crusty. 
if I do more Game Boy, I'll do more Game Boy camera, but maybe not anytime soon. I just want Nortz to learn how to play the harmonica, so watch. You go... I'm not that I can play, but I can, you know, it's not too bad. Nortz, why don't you, why don't you give it a shot? the sound effect of the person breathing. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> this shouldn't be funny. What's wrong with me? All right. Uh, take a break for a little bit. I'll be back. I'm going to just um, end this nonsense bit. Say goodbye, Norts. Goodbye, Norts. I'll see you in a couple minutes with this cursed Pokemon thing. I just need to um, get some aliens put into different locations. So, uh, be back in a bit. <laughs>